I need some hearing. I can't hear what I'm playing because I'm plugged direct. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Pepsi. Pepsi should really sponsor me. to play Brooke's Helm songs. Part 99. school today. I already did these once. I fucked them up, so we're going to record them again. I haven't practiced at all. I just sat down right now, so if I fuck up, too bad. <clears throat> fuck up. I'll tell you why. You hear that? It's these loose tiles under my feet and I try to think about not tapping my foot and it throws my hands off. So I'm gonna try not to do that. Let's do that again. One note there, bad. Triple notes here. Let the A string keep ringing. that up. Anyway, the slow version. goes like this.
those octaves that, that I live by. Three piece band, gotta make a lot of noise. So I use the octaves. Now all we're gonna do is the octaves here. all this except on the very last one. Let's see. Okay, we've got a drum solo in there and a bass solo. what it sounds like. So I don't need to show you that. Whoops, I better do that piece first. Did the first part, so I'm gonna let the A string ring while you do these, and then you're gonna move up. And you're gonna let the D string ring on the next ones. One you hit a little harder. A little bit softer now. Bring it on home. I think that's all the pieces. I keep pulling the headphones out. I keep stepping on the floor even though I try not to. So that's why you see a flub here and there. If, if you caught the flubs in there, good job. Because I let them go. I know what you're thinking. There is no liquor in here. Just Pepsi. No water either. My father, great musician, lived to 102 years old. Secret of his long life, he says, don't drink water. He drank mostly gin, you know, stuff like that, but don't drink the water. Is that it for it? Let's play a little bit more of it, just, just so you guys know what you're doing. Are you ready? We're going to skip the intro.
You know, when I'm sitting here doing these things, I'm thinking about how when I was a kid and I was learning this stuff, if we had YouTube and videos, and I could have Roger Glover or somebody, you know, Gary Thane from You're Right Here, teach me the bass lines and how they played them, and then, you know, I wouldn't have to fumble around and figure out what they were doing. But then again, maybe I wouldn't have developed my own style trying to figure out what they were doing. So, who knows? Just a thought. We're going to cut the video here, and then we're going to do another one.